Hello everyone, it's Graham from Lakeside and uh, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, so um, I've carried on and done a few more bits and pieces to the museum area. Um, and it's not too far off, I guess. There's quite a lot of finishing touches to do on it yet, but I think the basic construction is now done. Um, I just need to go through and <laughs> titivate, really, if you like, um, and just get rid of the nasties which I can see um, um, and install some lighting that's kind of the stage I'm at at the moment um, so once again I've tried to do this as cheap as possible so that um, I'm not wasting money on uh, this area um, the only thing I had to do was go and buy a Metcalf uh, card kit um, because I just couldn't quite make up enough of this edging along here so I just got an old um, two bay canopy which was just enough to do that along with what I had but all the rest is uh, free from what I had left over um, and it's gone together very well I think um, it's, it's done its job put it that way uh, the, the whole point of it really was as you know was to have this cutaway oh, this cutaway section here so that um, trains could go around here without fouling the um, the long platform which obviously I'm still using around the other side um, and to just give it a bit of interest um, I thought okay well I'll put a little museum there um, and yeah I'm, I'm happy with it it's 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 come out okay uh, weathering to do on it um, I've got the cut marks from card edges to hide up yet um, it's all that sort of thing now really um, the other thing I've done I'll show you in more detail uh, the other thing I've done is that I've put in that electro for a point um, I know there's quite a few people um, who are against it um, but I put it in anyway <laughs> typically me um, and it's absolutely superb uh, it, it's causing absolutely no problems at all it's basically just taken up the same part of the curve which was there as you can see I've just for the moment I've just tacked on a little bit of track here it's not going to be like this but I've just put it on there for the moment for your benefit more than anything else um, but this will run away sorry run away into nothing and the rails will be shorter uh, you won't see the pins um, etc now as regards the point uh, two notes of interest really um, one I didn't have to do any special wiring for this um, in fact I didn't do any wiring for it uh, the electro frog point has gone down as is when bought no additions nothing taken away I haven't done anything to the clips here um, and I tried it like that first just to see what happened and absolutely nothing happened um, I've tried several trains across it absolutely fine um, and one person did suggest that I would have problems with the may have problems with this point flicking out um, on high-speed runs um, I don't know why to be quite honest because the spring in there is quite stiff but however I did take heed and although there's no point there what I've done I have put a pin in the hole uh, where you stick a piece of wire through for the motor uh, I've put a pin in there so that it's always in that position so there's no way this can flick out and stuff careering off into the museum area um, I didn't think it would do anyway but I thought well no I'll take heed and make sure that doesn't happen so that's now locked into that position so there's no point motor at all no wiring um, and it just runs um, I've got no um, insulated rail joiners um, it's normal type there and there and there and there because I just wanted the continuity running through this rail here will always be dead because it's not touching uh, this part of the track here 
Um, I haven't taken out any of the links uh, here, so this will only be live if that ever comes across here, because uh, there's no other wiring connecting it to it. Uh, so I think that's it. So that's the point, and as you can see, I've nearly taken up all the ballast and the track. Well, the track has been taken up, just some sleepers left up there of the uh, track which came in from the Y point, sorry, not Y point, the um, curve point which came around here and was to run up against this part or platform one. <clears throat> so it's all taken up to here. This will come up as well eventually, but that's how far I've got so far. We've taken the track up, so that will be finished off tomorrow. Um, and then I can start running the new track in for platform one. Uh, what else? Right, well, let's show you the details of what I've got so far of the museum. So the kiosk is now manned, and uh, he's serving a lady there for a magazine or whatever. There's a photographer there photographing the loco, and a couple of school kids with their train spotting notes out. Um, as we move along, there's a couple of young girls there, oh, there's another one behind there. Uh, three young girls there looking at the vending machine. You've got to remember that this is uh, a little bit more update than some of the other platforms because it is has been updated. So we're going to get vending machines on here. I've decided that I really can't be asked about whether you know what era I'm doing. I've got so many locos of modern, old, that I'm going to be wrong whatever I do. So I thought, bugger it, <laughs> excuse my French. Um, I really can't be asked about keeping it everything uh, prototypical. I, I haven't done so far. I'm, I'm way out of bonk now um, as regards keeping it to an era. So, you know, as always, anything goes. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to be wrong every which way. So, um, for me, it's fine. I'm I'm happy with that. Um, but I know for some of you purists out there, um, you know, vending machines like that weren't bought out when the Flying Scotsman was running around. But there again, Flying Scotsman still runs, doesn't it? Um, so anyway, so I have got some modern stuff on there as well. I've got the old clock, which is telling the wrong time. But hey ho. Um, and we've got some other pit. Oh, let's move this out of the way down there. So, I've got a bunch of school lads there who have come to see the museum, and some are interested, some aren't. And we've got the teacher there with them, just keeping control of them. As regards the structure, um, I want to put um, some downpipes up against those um, brick trusses. Uh, because that would have been the outside wall of the engine shed and I still need the drain pipes because of the guttering which will be which is not on there at the moment which will be running along there to collect the rainwater. Um, the new trusses which I put in are <laughs> highly adapted um, old Metcalf ones, uh, they still need finishing off as regards painting but they're getting there um, and they are supporting a roof which is made up of um, again um, Metcalf tarmac card which I've done in three bits, well, it's one bit but I've folded it over twice um, so that is the back edge coming out, sorry, this is the first edge going down, scored, back on itself, and then a flat book down so that I can attach this facade at the front. And then I'm just in the process of putting just dummy joining strips along here. Uh, there'll be a smaller one running in the center there as well. It just gives it a little bit of, texture to it if you like rather than being just a flat roof there's going to be joins in it. Um, I found some old glazing bars from another old kit 
so they are sandwiched in between um, let's come right here. so they are sandwiched in between this layer and the layer underneath um, so it's a sandwich of the top underneath and the glazing in the middle um, I've just put a finishing this was again from a, a Metcalf kit which I've cut in half put one on one end and the other ones on the other end uh, the wooden trusses which I did have originally I've now taken out um, because I've got these now there was they were superfluous I, don't, I didn't need them and if I offend any construction engineers out there who are looking at this and going well that wall wouldn't support that roof and the tie beams are the wrong so I'm, pff, whatever um, it, it works uh, if it's wrong sorry about that but that's the way it's going to be um, I've got one other thing to do as regards construction and that is on the rear I can't take it off and show you now but on the rear at the bottom the other side here if you like uh, the other side of the wall I just want to put a thin strip um, just so that it seals the bottom edge right the way along um, so you won't see any daylight where well, you can't really see too much daylight as it is but I just want to make sure that it doesn't get any daylight through that bottom for the pavement I've used um, some paper paving I had from yonks ago um, it's quite nice stuff actually works quite well um, so I painted the edge white stuck the paper on the top um, and obviously all this area here has got to be finished with railings and entrance gates and signage etc um, I've painted the um, I found some really nice concrete paint um, for the bottom edge here um, so that's been put on and all I've got to do now is weather that um, and then that's done so all in all it's not too far this is what I mean I've got to get rid of this white line from folds um, and put guttering along the centre here right the way throughout um, so it's, it's basically little things like that which um, I need to finish off but all in all step back I don't think that's making too much of a bad scene from something which was really just come out the, the blue because I had to cut back that platform so it's a nice little addition to Lakeside I think um, nice bit of interest and we'll probably make quite a nice viewing angle for um, videoing <clears throat> when I find the right one that is but I mean that's not too bad as it is there to be honest zoom in I mean that's quite nice actually um, I've got to have some railings I haven't got to but I will have some railings around just about here um, just, come off. Um, just about here for a, but I need them removable uh, it's just to stop people boarding the the cab area of the loco so I've got to make up some freestanding small railings just to stop people boarding the loco the, the, the cab that is not the whole loco um, but I'll see how that goes what I don't want to do is block it off with railings so people like this guy here is photographing through railings um, I would find that annoying and I'm sure many others would too as long as they can't get on board and touch controls on that then that should suffice so let's bring him up I have got the other coach somewhere here I've got the other coach there which I've just taken off just so that um, it makes it easier to for you to see the uh, the platform so that's about it for now um, so a fair bit done but still some way to go uh, obviously car park 
has to be done railings along here or not railings sorry fencing along here I've got to put the fencing along the back there um, I'll show you how if it's going yeah, so if I bring an HST round you see it go over that point system perfectly all right hopefully keep your fingers crossed that's about a quarter speed so if I do it flat out really an issue is there um, <clears throat> I mean obviously I've got to try steamers and things like that but um, I, I really haven't found any problems with these electrofrog points they are just brilliant absolutely brilliant right okay folks <clears throat> I think that's about it for now um, so uh, as soon as I'm ready to do another video I'll pop one up um, probably be another well, quite a few days yet before I do that um so hopefully lighting might be even be installed by then and uh finished off and i think that's making quite a nice shot through there as i look through the viewfinder very happy with that especially when i know that how it's going to look with the railings and the ballast down and the buffers on and etc etc get it all complete and signage right there we go okay people uh, have a great week if I don't speak to you before and uh, maybe I'll speak to you again at the weekend. Okay, bye for now. Bye. I just thought I'd tack on at the very end um, a small clip of the museum from the other angle. Um, so that's from the stairs end if you like. Because um, I don't think you've seen that, that shot before. So that's the way it's looking now. Obviously this section here is where oh, is where the other track will come round and join that point there. So I think that's a much much better system. Anyway, there we go. Just thought I'd show you that. Okay, folks. Bye for now. Bye.